two members of Shinedown that is here on the Rich Eisen Show. We're just listening to Get Up, which is track 11 for those scoring at home on Attention, Attention. And good to see both of you here, Zach Myers and Brent Smith. How are you guys? Good to see you. Good. It's We're good fantastic. to be here. Glad to be here. You got it. Now you are now you Zach. You're a, are you a UT guy? Because you're from Tennessee. Uh, or? I I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a Vols fan. He is from Knoxville though. Okay. I am. So, so I'm, I'm Memphis. So Memphis Tigers. Oh, Memphis Grizzlies. Did I just step in it right off the bat? Oh, that's all right. You're a Paxton Lynch guy. I am a Paxton Lynch guy. How about Penny coming back? Right. I'm. I think that was so good for the city. I think it was such a cool thing. He's also a big kind of pillar in the community. Because he uh, coached AAU basketball forever, still does I mean, right. up until this year. Yeah, obviously. So it's really cool. I just saw him the other night. At, uh, we have like a a minor league kind of UFC thing, mm -hmm. like a, a called V three Promotions, yes. and uh, he was at the fights the other night. So I saw him. So you you go up to Penny Hardaway and you're like, just hey, how you doing? Yeah, we or? know. We like okay. I don't. I've never been over his house to dinner. We know each other's name. Well, not yet. Yeah, but invite me over, Penny. Come on, Which Penny Hardaway. Right? Come on, Penny. Come on now. He lives not far from me. Get Zach Myers over there. He's got to come over to your house. Well, because that is pretty cool. Well, you were hanging out with Dana White the other day. I was hanging. That was the same same day. All right, now yeah. let's drop names. This no, is, no, no, no. I, I don't know Dana White. I just met him. That was the first time I ever met him. He was well, very nice though. Well, he knows how to promote. That's for damn he sure. Is, he is. He, he. You could consider him the He's, upper class of promoter. My God. Yeah. He sure is. He's pretty good at that. So are you are you an MMA are either one of you guys MMA people or not really? Or? Yeah, we okay. I know the whole band as a whole will kind of watch it when it's on, especially when the bigger fights are on. Right. I'll watch it. Um I don't it's it's not something I keep up with, but I definitely watch it when it's on. It's I was a bigger that, fan of the Mayweather and the uh, notorious yeah. Mr. Right. McGregor yeah, when that happened. So you checked you that were out, all right? follow yeah, he was following that. I was from the beginning, I yeah. was just finally in one of those situations where I felt like I was going to see history, and uh, and then what'd you see? I mean, we saw history. I mean, he's undefeated <laughs> still. You know. it's, it's history in another way, I guess. I guess. No, but so you were you were locked in on that. I was just because I I I just felt like both of those guys had um, the cajones to to do it. Yeah, you know. I mean, as you watch the fight too, you could see McGregor, you know, still trying to kick him and stuff like that. You definitely and the saw his like leg him. kind of twitching. He's like, a you can't bit. do that. Right. You know. So, what would you, Brent, call your? What would be your McGregor move? And by that, I mean where you would step out of what your normal wheelhouse is to perform other music. What would that be? Everybody wants me to do like. A country record because like, I'm from Tennessee, or have good, the band such do such a good question. Yeah, or have <laughs> the band do a country record. So that would kind of be outside of my box. So that would be basically for you going in the octagon into the square room. Yeah, it would a little bit because I'm a fan of, I I appreciate all styles of music. That's that's I genuinely do. Sure. But when I think of country music, I mean some of the new school stuff. I just I wouldn't gravitate towards it. I mean I think about Johnny Cash, Loretta Lynn. You know, Willie Nelson's still going very, very strong. But, you know, just because I'm from Tennessee doesn't, n you know, necessarily mean that I know how to sing a country song. <laughs> I think you'd do great. I don't so know. I think I'm rock and roll to the bone. Would you do something like that, then? I'll never say never, you know. As long as I can, We're still you young. Know, yeah. Relatively. You guys are relatively young. Relatively you young. You guys are. So what would yours be, then, Zach, if you stepped out of the... Uh... I don't know if I have one musically. No? I'm, I'm kind of into everything. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know if I would... Would you, well, you wouldn't do, uh, yeah, I mean, you're not going to go and do, like, big band. I wouldn't do that. There you go. Maybe, like, a big band orchestra thing. Like a little Sinatra? You yeah, would bang I don't out think some I, would, I would love it, but I don't, I don't know if I could necessarily pull it off. Well, that, that would be, that's my wheelhouse, is that's my karaoke go-to. Is like, Frank Sinatra. Damn like, straight like, oh, That's good. That's it. What's your song? What's your karaoke song? That's Life. That's great. That's, that's a, a fantastic one. song. That's the only one? Are you no. the guy that shows it? You got the one no, song? No, no, no. I've got, I've got, here's what I've got. This is my karaoke right. go-to. Uh, and these guys have seen me do it. So you can back my play here. Very okay, we shine down here. Okay, I'm excited about this. All right. Uh, Frank Sinatra, That's Life. Okay. I'm from Staten Island so and a Yankee fan. So New York, New York. Yankee okay. fan okay. as oh, well. Okay, there you go. High five. I did, so how does, a, how does a Memphis guy become didn't a know We didn't fan? have a baseball team. Got it. And that was really one of the only teams that was on like you know the the so the, 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 the four years, channels oh, yeah. Okay. yeah so you early tour years yeah okay so you got in while the getting was yeah yeah it was, good. It was great he was uh, born the, in the 80s this, this good this year uh, but this, no I this think year too yeah okay and there's no wood this you're not going whatever good. okay um so it's uh, new york new york that's life um and then uh also my way yeah but my 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 finish to my way uh, and I've done this Elvis my way or no Sinatra no, no, no 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 okay it's all Sinatra. I'm from Memphis after I'm sorry 
Uh, no, no disrespect by my response. I'm from New York. That's my response. I take the microphone, Zach, and I slam it down and walk out. I like love Costanza. that. Costanza. Where are we going tonight? Oh God! I gotta where say, are we I, gotta, going? I have to see this. <laughs> okay. We can make this happen. Uh, we know exactly think, where to make something I, I like think, this happen. You know, I've done karaoke one time in my entire life, and I've been I've been singing my whole life, and it was in L.A. Mm -hmm. It was at the Belmont on La Cienega. It was the only time I ever did karaoke in my life. I've never told this story before. Okay. And uh, it was "Addicted to Love" by Robert Palmer. I was, as you do. Good one. You're going as my as my karaoke. only my That's only karaoke. A pretty experience. good one. That is a how many did you have to have before you? I wasn't drinking at the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it took a lot of courage. It's like to me, that's like I can you know we play we we they were just in Europe. We did we were doing festivals, hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand people. Fine, mm -hmm. no nerves. Right. Karaoke, like sweating. Like I can't I, do it. So you were not you were, in, you were not in your own. Yeah, that's, private that, room? that maybe that would be my actually my uh, uh, octagon to boxing ring thing is karaoke. Is karaoke? Yeah. I wouldn't suggest in front of ten people. Scares, Pick a city. Yeah, ten, yeah, ten, ten drunk people who have no idea who I am <laughs> scares me to death. No kidding. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Is that how you got your start? Where they come up to you and say, "You've got some talent, kid." Yeah, that that that's <laughs> what it felt like anyway. For so sure. my my other two, my other two, my number four is when because I I don't want to just be a one note. guy. No, no, yeah, you can't just right? do Sinatra. So I do "Brandy, You're a Fine Girl" by Looking Glass. Okay. Tell me, do you know what I know is? that is? Yeah. Okay, you're looking. That you know is. What, do you know what, Brent? Do you know what that I is? I don't. That is extremely obscure oh. for a karaoke. Can we play some of that. Mike? Do you have that? Can we? Is that on the list? Yeah, that is by Looking Glass, Brandy. Yeah, what? Fine girl. Where, what, what karaoke bar do you go to that has that song? All of them. Oh, yeah. Shut up. Yeah, dude. No. Yes. Really? Yes, all of them. Yeah. That's like that's like doing like Rosanna. But it goes. Is it. Have yeah. you never heard this, Brent? I think you've heard. There's a horse on a western bay. I have heard this, yeah. but I didn't know who it was. Yeah, yeah it's one, one of them songs. Chips. What year was that? Oh, gosh, 1970-something or other. And then the fifth one is it depends on how hammered I am, to be very honest with you. What's your poison? My, well, geez, I don't, well, I have to be really hammered to do poison. Got it. Um, <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Win big, mama's fallen angel. Go. <laughs> no. Oh, man. My wife just hates that I share this, let alone do it. But if I'm really, really hammered. If you're having a good night. I will sing I Am Woman by Helen Reddy. That's great. <laughs> come on. Come I need on. To, come on. Come on. Where are we going tonight? Uh, we're going to the Gaslight <laughs> on uh, Wilshire this is all we 26 have uh, <laughs> in Santa Monica. My schedule today says the Rich Eisen show, nothing else afterwards. So right, that I'm bar's good. open. Uh, By the way, and I just right blanked, now, so we I can just go. blanked on the lyrics of Brandy. I just botched the first three lines, so I'm off. But Yachty by nature. I'm with will you, not Rich. Happen. I used to do like a prayer forever. That's Ma that's Madonna. a good one too, though. Yeah, yeah, but that's there's a okay. I'm just saying a song by a female. Artist. I know, right? But when I'm not hammered, any James Taylor, I like James Taylor. Yeah, I'm a big James Taylor. Fan. I can nice. go. I'm a huge. James do you respect Taylor this, fan. Brent? I mean, you're you're 100. Yeah, you do. Sweet baby James, man. Okay, yeah. I'm a I'm a huge James. What's your James Taylor song? Uh, song? Carolina on my mind. Great song. Well, Copper Line, anything like that? No? Um, no. All right. No, no. That's basically it. All right, just just Carolina on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I don't. I'm not saying I'm. I've got a broad. Yeah. Uh, I will say this. As as you're a, a crooner, you do I, realize you are. That. You are. You're, a crooner. An, you're an off. You are authentic. You are a crooner. I'm a crooner. Yep. As a I James Taylor, croon. as a James Taylor fan though, I yes. don't. I don't see many James Taylor songs as like out at a bar fun things to sing <laughs> like that really brings the mood down like there's somebody at the bar going is this guy really singing james taylor right now? <laughs> this guy's yes. had a bad day yes he's at the video poker machine just contemplating yeah. all things that yeah. are life yeah and you're singing carolina on my mind yeah it's not the cocktail doesn't break out basically what you're saying. <laughs> correct this uh, is my favorite conversation I've ever had on television. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> it's All right. fun. It's loose. We'll take a 60-second break. We'll come back. We'll talk more about uh, what you guys are up to. Um, and then also in hour number three, Jarvis Landry of the Cleveland Browns will be joining us in Ryan Leaf in studio. Back in 60 seconds with Zach Myers and Brent Smith of Shinedown. Zach Myers and Brent Smith of Shinedown uh, here in studio. Attention, attention is uh, the new album, which we'll hit in a second again. Addicted to Love is the one time you sang a karaoke song. In Los, Zach, Angeles, in Los Angeles, randomly enough. And we were just, we kind of went down a video, uh, music we video about, wormhole yeah, here yeah. about how that was a, a that music Probably video the, with the with the models dancing behind That was like the him. pinnacle of, at MTV. Like, that was like the first, like, 
oh my god right. this is like yeah and then i i mentioned to you brent about uh, a video by the police of where sting would just knock over these candles in the room these long candles and you nailed yeah it was wrapped around my finger i remember too because it was all those moments in, where it was in slow motion and he's like yeah. jumping up and down and all that that you know they didn't know you know when they were making videos that early on um that dynamic of being on set and being in different studios and then going on location yeah it's pretty incredible like you hear the song and then all of a sudden once that visual you were able to connect with the song in a totally different way we owe a lot to mtv to be honest you still do you think absolutely how yeah. so like what because i think that it's a different age now for the younger generation in regards to how you can consume music but the fact that it's limitless i mean there's so much out there um and but i i think the visual with the audio is still something that can change the dynamic you know being a musician and being a singer and a songwriter like the two of us um you know, you don't ever want to get desensitized to your craft and you always want to be honest. And a lot of times when you're going into a studio, we always tell people, don't ever write a song because you want to be famous. Write it because it expresses who you are. Um, because an audience is not dumb. We've always said this too, we only got one boss. It just happens to be everybody in the audience. So when you bring it all the way back to like when we were kids, that visual on top of just the hair standing up on our arms when we heard that great song, mm -hmm. we could see what that artist's interpretation was for that song with a visual. It, I also didn't know what people look like. Yeah, that's another thing. Like that too. was like MTV. Like I was, I was watching that Tom Petty documentary, and he was saying like when it came out, like it was like everyone always knew who he was, but like once the video started coming out, they were getting recognized everywhere, like everyone in the band, because like before that, you just had magazines, and a lot of those people right. didn't read magazines. Your everyday common person weren't reading hit parader or, or rolling stone or whatever so like then it puts a face to it and then so everyone's out there and now everyone knows what you look like yeah so. it's, the problem was that not everybody's face was yeah that not ever <laughs> needed to be seen and now they just play jersey shore <laughs> shout out to mtv <laughs> well and it's interesting too that we're having this conversation again zach mars and brent smith of shine down here get up um has no video no yet yet okay it's being filmed in three days. Right. And yet there's two million listens, I three, guess. On, he three, he informed me today. This morning. You hit three on YouTube yeah. or Spotify? YouTube. Okay. YouTube. I didn't know the streaming thing that you said, the one billion. I didn't yeah, know man. that. Congrats great. on the hey, billion. Thanks. Take man. it. I'll take that and take run it. with it. Yeah. Um, so why do you think uh, something that does not have the visual to it in this day and age has as many listens? on a medium that's not really known for listening to stuff, right? It's your seeing yeah, videos on right. YouTube. It's it's a powerful song. It's, um, you know, the album Attention Attention mm -hmm. is, it's it's a story album. And Get Up in the story is the shift in this individual's psychological journey of themselves where they get their confidence back. Because the whole record is built around the fact that we don't want people to be afraid to fail. You're gonna need to fail. It's how you learn. And in this world nowadays, because people are so just consumed by what's on the internet and everybody having an opinion and what have you. Likes on Instagram, right. likes. Yeah. And also losing what's happening with the three of us right now, which is having a conversation, yeah. but not doing it like this. So the reality for that song and the the album as well is that we don't think that you're going to be defined by your failures you uh, we think you'll be defined by the fact that you don't give up you know you're, you're going to need to fail it's 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 part of life but that doesn't mean that you're going to every single time you got to learn from it and get up is a song also where it was written from a very real place because the album is a story but it's really a story about the four of us, myself, Zach, Eric, and Barry um, in the band. And, um, you know, Eric really put himself really up front with this song because, um, you know, he, he has what is considered clinical depression. And I wrote the song about him. And I never, ever wanted to cross a line with our friendship. But the moment that it was written... He, you know, I looked at him and said, you know what it's about, right? And he was like, it's about me. And I'm like, but that's where the line was removed. 
and kind he was felt okay to write about it other was okay to point. talk about it and it was okay to to let people know that you don't need to be ashamed if you wake up in the morning and you're sad you know it may not be something that you can all the time control and i think because of the influx of information now in 2018 people are so wrapped up with you know a selfie pose or looking at the, themselves in the mirror and just nitpicking everything you've got to go back at times and take a deep breath okay the world is going to keep spinning but the first person that you have to take care of is you you'll be the first person you see in the morning and your mental health is extremely necessary and I think that the younger generation were watching them kind of get just torn apart because they don't have an opportunity to just be themselves. They gotta impress everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why we feel like this record is necessary right now. Um, but with the song, um, it, it is a very, very triumphant song inside of the, the album too. It is the shift in this individual where they're like all of a sudden, okay, this is not necessarily going to be easy, but I know I can do it. Well, and it's also an important conversation to have about mental health awareness uh, and the stigma that's associated right. with it and how it should not have a stigma associated mm -hmm. with it. I mean, we've had that conversation here in May. It was Mental Health Awareness Month. Mauro Ranallo, who, uh, who was calling that match that you watched with McGregor and Mayweather, Brent, yeah. yes. he has been battling mental health issues his entire life yeah i gotta watch that documentary it's incredible it's on showtime it, yeah. sports check it out um it's incredible uh in hour number three ryan leaf is coming in here he's going to be talking a little bit about tyler holisky who was a quarterback in washington state who took his own life at age 21 ah. and you just never know when somebody's dealing with something yeah and it's important to talk about it and then on the failure front i mean this is the stuff that was going in my head while i was listening to you tell your story also uh the super bowl this year nick Foles. yeah after he was done, one of the most incredible moments I've seen at a podium after a, somebody who has succeeded. Yeah. Right. Talked about how his failures were the most important aspect of him being able to succeed. Absolutely. Because he was going to be done, right? Like he was. Well, I mean, he was he was done. Yeah. I mean, in the odd way. I mean, he wasn't done in terms of his career, but he was done in the eyes of so many sports but, fans. But I mean, he even thought a, about retiring. As being, yes, as being somebody who could be. Um, a Super Bowl winning quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Having that ability still yeah, left yeah. in his body. And he his, was out of that conversation. Right. Yeah. No question about it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he was pressed into service and look what happened. And when he had that moment at the podium after the game yeah. and was asked about his journey, he talked about his failures. And, and he, I'll tell you, he made a fan out of me and he's made a fan out of millions instantly That's by awesome. talking about They're that. They're just as important, man. Falling down is... is, is that's that's half of the story of getting up. You can't. You don't have the getting up without the falling down. I know, and, and in that seat just a few months ago, right, Chris, when Scott Hamilton was here, what was the number he gave? He talked about in the seat you were sitting in, Zach. Mm. He said he fell down in his career thirty thousand times. Yeah, wow. he was doing the math on and he the talked about of practice time, the right. years, and all the times he fell. And but the way he put it, is it he got up thirty thousand yeah. times. Then. That's, exactly. Get up. That's half the story. I, I, exactly. I didn't even mean the pun when I said it either. We've always <laughs> right. said in the band, too, <laughs> like, I mean, it, it's very, very important. Sometimes you have to fall in a hole yeah. to figure out how to get out of it. Well, check it out. Uh, attention, attention. And then the the uh, the singling itself that we're talking about, Get Up, you're shooting the video in three days? Yes. Okay. Do we know what uh, what you're shooting? Do, is it, do we have a script? Do we have storyboards? We kind of do. The whole, yeah. yeah. The, 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 once again, the, okay. the, the album, Attention, Attention, is a story. Um, and we've uh, shot the first two videos, um, mm -hmm. which was for a song called Human Radio and Devil, which Devil starts the story. Mm -hmm. um, this is a shifting point in the story. Uh, it's two videos we're going to be doing for two songs, Get Up and Monsters. But we have a goal by the beginning of next year um, to have all of the songs filmed, and then people will be able to watch it play out like a film. Yeah. Okay. It's so, too bad the human radio is already done because Mike Del Tufo is our human radio. That's there right. You go. Our, yes. our sound guy. He's. We should have put you in the video. It's too bad. Oh, well, well, I mean, are, are there still late. more to be shot? Yeah, Absolutely. There's way more.
You can be in one. Everybody on this staff can yeah. come and be in Shine Down right, music video if you see, want. I think we're now talking. we're talking. Yeah, see, we got to do karaoke. Bad, since though. you're talking about how everybody's taking selfies these days, and that's kind of what's tearing at the fabric, and we're now making this about ourselves. I kind of no, feel no, bad it's all about right. it, but it, well, this is business. <laughs> yes, I could turn yes. anything into a positive. <laughs> it's business. This is business. We're gonna get you doing karaoke yes. in the video, though. Not oh. James Taylor. Though. And here's the thing about <laughs> like, yes. bring, you can't bring you that can't puts bring it down and shine yes. down. James, <laughs> yeah, that's, no, that's, no, yeah. that's, it down. Caroline on my mind is a yeah, that's, 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 that's out. out. That's hey, not in the playlist. Put your hands together for Rich Eisen, everyone. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rich Eisen with a bring rousing rendition of Caroline on my mind. <laughs> well, check it out. Uh, the new album, Attention, Attention, uh, on Shine Down at the Brent Smith at Z Myers official, and uh, of course, there's a dozen fan sites to follow. Shine down good to see you guys thanks Thank for you having so much us. for Make having this us. a regular thing absolutely we'd love to do it the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience